there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you were here. Uh, why else would you be here in the middle of the night for some of you, right? Uh, because there's tomfoolery going on, and, and, and I missed it a few hours ago, right? Uh, because uh, some of us have lives, right? Some of us have, you know, things to do, right? And nonetheless, uh, it hit me in a 15 second trailer clip, I promo, if you will, for Love and Marriage Huntsville's premiere is already starting off with the BS, is already starting off with the clownery, is already starting off with the tomfoolery, is already starting off with the gaslighting. What am I talking about? What has happened? What is in that promo, right? Uh, so the promo starts off that, you know, quote unquote, all things secrets will be revealed or something like that. Next thing, we have a scene immediately with Mel and, and Marceau because what else, right? And, uh, you know, they're going back and forth. You know, Marceau is like to Mel, this is the dude you chose. And Mel's like, this is the dude you chose or whatever. And basically was like, well, this is the dude you chose to have three, four kids with. And I was like, three? Three kids? What? So, so we're still pushing that narrative? Was that a Freudian slip? Because what the heck, right? And then after that, uh, Mel says, well, you know, you knew him before I did, right? You were friends with him before me. And, and then we cut to the gaslighting, right? Because Carlos King is not going to include, obviously, on this show, Martel cussing him out. That, that's against the rules, apparently. And Martel calling this show full of actors and, and that the scenes are fake. Because why would, uh, you know, Carlos King do that, right? But, but once again, like Winner said, the people who are broke and desperate and are willing to do anything for camera time, including lie, in comes lying Martel. And in a confessional where it's like, you know, uh, you know, they're, they're trying to, you know, mess with the good guys. I was like, good guys? Do good guys have a rap sheet that I'm, I'm, I'm aware of? Do the nice guys uh, get arrested all the time that I'm aware of? Do nice guys try to, you know, submit and distribute revenge pee on their ex-wife to people? Do nice guys try to turn the entire cast against his ex-wife? Does a nice guy scream and shout at his ex-wife does a nice guy steal money from the joint bank account does a nice guy prevent his ex-wife from packing up all of her things and taking the things that belong to her out of the home to wherever the new residence she's staying do nice guys continue to lie about their ex-wife and lie about their kids and put their kids and their ex-wife in danger. Do nice guys uh, have to have a security presence and a therapist present in the midst of being in any potential uh, scene or environment where their ex-wife is there? What nice guy do you know, you guys, th that is doing all these things? Do nice guys have mistresses too? Do, do nice guys get their mistresses pregnant? Like, I'm just trying to understand what we're defining nice to be. And, and I knew this was going to be foolery when I saw Martel back, number one, and I saw the white suit back, number two. I was like, oh, we're going with the whole angelic angle this season, right? We are going to present it as though Martel is the victim. Martel is just trying to do right and get along with everybody and blah, 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 blah. Except for it's all lies. Everything is a lie. And and and, and, and here's the problem, right? Because I know there's people who said they're going to black out. There's people who said that they're not going to tune in and all these things. But, but here's the problem, right? There's still a false narrative being pushed. There's still a lot of gaslighting that is taking place. And literally, Marceau is basically regurgitating things that uh, his sibling, who's desperate to be on the show, has put on his social media, still trying to allege that Mel 
uh, stepped out on Martel and trying to allege that Sugar Mama is not Martel's, that is not okay. That is slander and defamatory, you guys. And, and, and the fact that Carlos King doesn't even care and, and is cool with this and is cracking up at this and thinks this is entertaining. Did he really do a post the other day? saying that this is that we're back to the basics and everything is going it's a really good season this season and he's proud what this is an utter disaster you guys this is an utter bleep show that we are about to see uh come may 4th uh you know <laughs> i mean what what a way to kick off you know the month of mother's day and celebrating your mom uh where we have a show where the moms are being teared down right well, well, one mom in particular, Melody Sheree Rogers, right? The other people who are mothers, it is okay for them to attack Melody Sheree Rogers. And once again, like I told you, once again, everybody else is rallying behind Melody Sheree Rogers for a storyline, right? And all of these things. Now, I presume the scene with Mel and Marceau, and this is just my speculation, is perhaps this back and forth is at um you know after they uh it's revealed that martel gets arrested that's i'm like 99.9% .9 sure what that back and forth was uh basically you know trying to say why well, i know martel was like that and, and all these things and trying to place blame like oh well you chose him you chose to marry him and blah 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 so trying to basically question somebody's character and intent when marceau knew martel holt first right and i that's my interpretation of what that scene is right and also we oh i forgot to mention because it was a non-factor at the end there was a clip of leticia uh doing something uh but it was it wasn't relevant you guys <laughs> like it wasn't relevant at all uh it, it was just one of those things where it's like hey we, we got to show tisha who looked exactly like kiki for a second i had to do a double take but nonetheless i uh, this is awful and so the problem now, like I said, is unfortunately people are going to have to tune in because people are going to have to see the tomfoolery, right? In one way or the other, right? Maybe not directly on the actual own network, but whether it's via social media, whether it is clips that people post on Instagram or Twitter or what have you, we have to continue to tell the truth. We have to continue to set the lie straight. And, and there has not been one instance where I ever felt, even season one, that Martel was quote unquote a nice guy. No, 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 no. Even when he was pretending to be a decent husband, never did I ever think, oh, Martel is a nice guy. No, 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 no. I never believed that. And I am disgusted, you guys. But, but everything, the more that gets revealed, in these trailers and these promos and the more that gets revealed as this season unfolds it is going to prove and it's continuing to prove and it's proven already everything that winner said in her interview and her follow-up lives and q a's are facts are nothing but facts the more desperate you are the more broke you are you get a good edit on these reality shows right and I've said this before about other reality shows, because uh, I, I saw it firsthand, that people that you, they try to paint the villain on these shows are not always the villain, right? And a lot of times they do that. I don't know if these producers have like an insecurity or jealousy of certain people. Like there was a show for instance, where everybody picked on the model or picked on the pretty girl or whatever. Cause I guess they thought in their mind, oh, well she's used to people giving her compliments all the time, but we're gonna make her life a living H-E-double-L here. And we're gonna treat her like crap and she's gonna end up being the one getting a bad edit making her look like she's evil she's a bleep she's stuck up but really she's the nicest person but we're going to frame it that she's the one causing all this drama and that she's trying to be all these things but really it's them terrorizing her to tears and and that is exactly the foolery that we are seeing play out on all of carlos king's shows is whatever you are seeing being portrayed on this show, the opposite is taking place in real life. Martel calling himself a nice guy, 
we know he's a terror in real life. Uh, more so trying to gaslight Mel uh, on, on who is responsible of, of who is the closest to Martel or when they chose Martel or all of the things. It doesn't matter, Marceau, because you still gave a statement to the news talking about that's your brother and you love him and you hope everything is well. So in the midst of whatever, no matter how long Martel's rap sheet is, you still were taking up for him at the end of the day, but you wanted to present that scene because you need screen time to make it as though Mel is, you know, the bad picker in this. No, 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 no. But again, this is what Carlos King wants. He wants a show where Martel Holt looks like an angel, where people who are supposed to be entrepreneurs and multimillionaires uh, are not being featured, but the uh, wannabes, are being featured because they're going to take their pennies and do anything uh, for time on camera. And, and it makes sense that Melody Sheree Rogers has not posted one thing. Did you guys notice that? Melody Sheree Rogers has been absent the past couple of days ever since the promo shots were released and ever since the, you know, conversation and, and all the things, people discussing, the, you know, the cast photos and Martel being back and Destiny being back and the new couples. And Melody Sheree Rogers is quiet as a mouse. Melody Sheree Rogers has done the mute challenge on Love and Marriage Huntsville, right? And, and we know why. We know why, because this is going to be another season where everybody is going to basically try to gaslight Mel and try to get her to act out of pocket. And now all of a sudden, it, she is responsible for all of Martel's problems. She is the one who instigated anything and everything that Martel has done that's wrong. No, 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 no. Nobody's getting away with that. We're going to continue to expose the truth. I'm tired of the hypocrisy. I'm tired of the lies. This is not reality TV. This is bleep uh, TV. Um, and in this regard, Martel is right. This is acting. They, he, he is acting. He, he, he's absolutely correct. In, in, in a couple, in two of those statements that in that whole rant where he's cussing out Carlos King, and Carlos King didn't do anything but just give him a better edit on the show and, and, and allow him to come back after Mel is crying, saying she doesn't want her ex-husband back. He, I, you know, was correct about two things. That Carlos King told him that the Holtz had to take the show back. And two, that there's acting taking place. And Marcel confirmed it too. He said there's a reenactment. They do reenactments. Uh, so, because there, there's no way ever that Martel's ever a nice guy. I need to see his script, right? I need to see the script that he is being provided uh, because it is like next level buffoonery um, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so, there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.